good morning from Volcano Bay. It's been a long time since we've been here because our annual pass was blacked out, so we couldn't go for the entire month of July. But it is now August, so we can go see what kind of new stuff is happening at Volcano Bay. Ooh, yeah, I forgot how good this view was. It's so good. I could never get tired of this. It is beautiful you here. Ooh. Really put on some sunscreen. So this is definitely the first new thing for me is that they're selling Express. For the longest time, there wasn't any Express available here, but now it is. So the front entrance is kind of right there, and right now we're in the little gift shop area, headed towards these Wave Village East restrooms, the ones that I don't like, but something that is totally new are all of these things over here. First of all, there's like a little kitchen food place here that sells cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, a chicken kebab, a turkey wrap, and grab and go salads. They also added about three cabanas over here that are not private cabanas, Anybody can get a chair underneath them. If you want a chair underneath these, I would suggest getting here very early in the morning because it looks like they are all full. But what a premium spot. It's got a good view of the volcano. Shade all day long. Protection if it rains. Nice. I don't know that this little pizza food place has a name yet. You can see they have a spot for a sign up there, but no sign just yet. All of the foliage is really coming in quite nicely. Just to give you guys some perspective, it is the first Friday in August. There are a lot of people here, that's for sure. Another thing to note is that this park is open until nine tonight. So it might be a better idea to come a little bit later. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. So I would imagine maybe after the rain, it's not gonna be as busy as it is now. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but they do provide life jackets free of charge here for anybody that wants them. I came back to Kala and Tay Nu because the last time that I was here, they adjusted the weight limit on the slides. I think they're up to their original estimated weight limit, which is 275 or 125 kilograms for this ride. Some twisty, turny drop slides where there's a trap door at the very top that opens up underneath your feet and you come sliding down through all sorts of twists and turns. I thought for sure somebody was gonna come flying out right now. Oh. Over near the exit of, oh no, and oh yeah, there's are these two slides, the green one and the purple one, which have like a huge drop at the end of them. There's this little kitty area. It's actually not very busy in here at all. I think I would rather play in here than in the wave pool. Plus I like that they call it a leisure pool or a leisure pool. That makes it sound fantastic. And this is what I mean by the end of the slides have a big drop on them. This is oh no and oh yeah. I think oh no is the purple one and oh yeah is the green one. Here comes somebody down the green one. Let's see if they really fly out the end. Whoa, just underneath. Oh yeah, I think it is. I think the green one's oh yeah. I never noticed these little lizards that are in the rock work. These are awesome. We're on the backside of the volcano now, which by the way, the volcano is called Krakatau. And they've added more of these little public cabanas back here. So you could come back here too in first thing in the morning and get a spot underneath the cabana. These are a fantastic idea. I wish other water parks did more things like this just like large public areas that are underneath shade. Because these are the private cabanas, so these are a little bit more expensive and you get your own concierge with them, but uh, they're expensive. But also these sell out very quickly. So right now, all of the private cabanas are sold out. So Taniwa tubes, I believe, are mostly right now, anytime that you come. Hunger Racers is 30 minutes, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, definitely a very, very busy day. Oh, Maku and Puihi, 30 and 35, not too bad at all. The little frogs. The lights inside of their little croakers here are pulsating. So it looks like they would be croaking at night. Volcano Bay seems like nighttime would be the best time to come. Oh man, look at everybody in Te Awa, the Fearless River, shooting by. Oh, such a fun river. This is Taniwa Tubes. And if you look up the stairs there, you can see, even though it is a ride now, there is a little bit of a wait going on up there. But this should be the only ride that you will have to wait on the stairs because they kind of leave this one as a ride now and whatever the wait time is, that's the wait time. Also, since the last time that we were here, the Taniwa tubes have been split up into two different sections, the Rocky and the Tonga. So the blue slides are the Rocky and the green slides are the Tonga and they're two different lines. So in this case, I would say you go for the blue slides. This is new, they have live entertainment here. They've got hula dancers and they've got a guy playing the ukulele. How about that? So Krakatau is 155 minute wait and you tap on here to get in line for that 155 minutes. But after you've waited that 155 minute wait, it should only be a five to 10 minute wait up the stairs here. And then you get right on. Now here's something that I don't mean to call you guys out Universal, but I don't like these things. A people dryer, it's like $5. And then you're supposed to stand inside and some air blows on you and these like lights turn on. 
but I feel like you could probably get just as dry just standing out here in the sun just as fast for free but that's just my opinion have any of you guys ever used the people dryer before and I mean in all reality I've never used one of these before so I can't say I'm just going off of the way that I feel after seeing people use them and uh, the idea of them and actually just being out in the sun. Judging by the crowd over here at the Wave Village West locker area, I think that this, this is not the best place to go for your locker. Judging by the crowd here, definitely is better way in the back of the park. So we've made it almost all the way around. You guys can kind of see the volcano through the trees there and the front entrance is kind of over there. There is a food area here. The very first one you come to if you turn right on the way into the park, but something that's new is this food area over here. This was pavilion, it's just normal like seating areas like excess overflow seat. But now they have added a food area where you can buy food here. So you can get chicken fingers, a beef or veggie kebab, turkey wrap, grab and go salads. Nice, pretty good. And there's lots and lots of seating over here. Back in the back of this pavilion area, there are also a couple of Coke freestyle machines. So if you have those refillable cups, you can fill them up back here. This is the first food area you come to when you walk in. This is the one we were talking about. So the entrance is over there. This is off to the right. It's called Cahola Reef. And look at the line to get in. Although there is a much larger selection of food here, there was zero line at that little food area over there. So if you want coconut, curry, chicken, mango, pulled barbecue, pork sandwich, or pepperoni pizza, stuff like that, definitely come here to Cahola Reef. But if you just are okay with chicken tenders, over there. Oh, I had no idea they were doing character meet and greets here at Volcano Bay. How cool is that? Julian, how are you today? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Did you get to go on any water slides today? No, not yet, not yet. Maybe later. Well, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Can Hi, I have a high five? Have a good day, buddy. Kiora. This is probably my favorite bench in the entire park. As a matter of fact, it is the only bench that I have seen in this entire park. I, maybe I'm just being unobservant, but I don't think there are other benches around. Let's, I mean, we're going to look, but I, I don't think there are. So there it is. We've made our way around one time, which as you guys know, we like to do. We like to go around once dry, then we go put our stuff away, get our bathing suit on, and head into the water. So let's get in the water. It's also very hot out, so I'm excited to get in the water. This is something that I did not know was a thing. So Krakatau Katie's, there's seating around the outside of it, like here in the shade. There's some chairs. Ah, that explains it. The reason why I didn't know that there were other benches around is because they're all over by the bathroom. So that one's just off there by itself. Still my favorite bench. Over at Waka Weiwei Eats, a uh, foot long hot dog. Probably gonna stay away from this place. This is cool. I know. Wow, those things are neat. <laughs> oh, so it's actually making that noise. I thought that they were like electric instruments, but he just has them mic'd. Those are so cool. Wow. This area of the park where there's an entrance to Te Awa, the Fearless River, is called Hammerhead Beach, and there's about three more public cabanas over here. So it seems like there are definitely a lot of areas that you can come early in the morning and get a nice spot with some shade and a nice relaxing chair. This little booth here is called Feasting Frog and they've got tacos and poke bowls. It looks like it's one of the more popular places for a quick bite. Oh, they have nachos and corn dogs too. Oh, I'm ready to get into Aoa, the Fearless River. It's so much fun in there. Over here at the exit to Maku and Puihi is the lockers that I like. These are called the Rainforest Village lockers. There's hardly anybody ever back here. All right, who's ready for a little water action? I know I am. I am sweating like crazy because it's a thousand degrees outside. So they like to remind you, make sure you secure your Tapu Tapu before going into Te Awa, the Fearless River, because a lot of people lose them in there. They will give you a new one if you lose it, but a lot easier if you don't lose it. Also, should be noted that you have to have a life vest to go into Te Awa. As you can see by how big the rapids are, it definitely helps to have a life vest on, even if you are a good swimmer. We're definitely moving. There's a big fountain here that people can set off from over there using their tapu tapu. There we go, these are where the real jets are. Whoa. Hey, get up, get up. It's definitely kicking now. Oh no, there's noises happening. Oh dear, it's happening. Well, that was the first time that's ever happened. That was fun and exciting. If we 
push me over to this side, but it seems to have pushed everybody else over to that side. Whoa! I almost ran into somebody. Whoa! It's pretty intense in here. Now you can kind of understand why you need to have a life vest to go in this river. It's pretty intense, like, fearless river. Just coming here and going in the Fearless River. Turn time for Punga Racers. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to bring cameras on any of the rides. So you guys won't be able to ride it with me this time. So so I decided to go into the volcano because it's been so long since we've been here. Maybe we can visit the spirit of the volcano. I've never seen this little volcano erupt here in the kitty area. There it goes. Oh, that was awesome looking at And it has lights in it, so I bet you it looks amazing at night. Is. Here we go. One of the neatest places at Volcano Bay is underneath the volcano. It's also very loud underneath here. the calm area next to Kala and Tainu. You can see them coming out of the volcano there. We're actually gonna head back through the volcano to get into the Lazy River over on the other side of the park. Here we go into the Lazy River and there are a lot of tubes in here, but it is not required for you to have a tube or a life vest in this Lazy River. Boy, boy is it crowded in this Lazy River. Oh no, they're running through pushing people over. Not, uh, not as fun as the Fearless River and not as relaxing as I would like for it to be because there's just a ton of people in here. That's okay though, it is a popular park. Come winter time? Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be anybody in here and it doesn't get cold here in the winter. Getting squished into the wall by this tube. Oh, okay, it's happening. <laughs> One of the questions that I'm frequently asked about the water parks is, do I wear contacts? And the answer is yes. And how do I keep them from falling out? And the answer is, I don't really know. I've just been in the water for all of my life and I've been wearing contacts for half of my life, so. I don't know. I feel like my eyes just have a reflex to close when there's a splash coming at them. I think I prefer Teawa the Fearless River, like the fast moving lazy river, better than this because it is uh, pretty darn crowded in here and you can't really relax in the lazy river. Well, we already saw how busy the wave pool was, but that was from above. Let's see how it is in the wave pool. So before we head into the wave pool, let's head into this little pool over here, which seems to be less crowded in the deep end over here. So let's go over there. Woo! Oh, it's cold in this section. The water falling off the volcano is very cold. And it's very cold in this pool right now because there's so much water coming off the volcano into it. If you want a nice back massage, right over here, right next to this tiki head, underneath one of these uh, waterfalls. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that wave pool is very busy over there. But we're standing here next to, whoa, the drop slide. And you can watch people come flying by. Definitely an impressive sight from down here. Look at that. Wow. I think that that means that the waves are gonna start. Oh, everybody's kind of clapping. This is weird. I've never seen this happen before. Wow. What? I think he said, "How? where do fish look for jobs in the kelp wanted ads? 
I think that's what he said. I'm not 100% sure. If not, I just made up a fantastic joke. Volcano Bay, Pigeon's just trying to eat some stuff, chasing after bread, and just chasing after bread. That's all they're doing. You guys are doing great. During our walkthrough, we kind of walked around Oh No and Oh Yes, so we didn't actually see this, but there's a pearl factory here now, so you can buy pearls here at Volcano Bay. So I'm just waiting for my time to come up on Punga Racers, and I'm also trying to look and see if I can have a spot where I can leave the camera so it can see me coming out of the slide. Nothing like putting on a sweaty shirt after getting out of the water. Yeah, nice and sweaty. It is hot here always and forever, so I sweat a lot. But knowing Florida the way that I do, it's going on three o'clock now. It's gonna rain any any moment now. Probably around like maybe 3.30, so I think it's time that we head home. So there it was. That was our first trip back to Volcano Bay without being blacked out on our annual pass. I like it a lot. I always like Volcano Bay. I can, I cannot wait. It, I can't wait until winter time, like maybe around September or October. It's still hot here, but I feel like there will be way less people here at Volcano Bay. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, it's Nick Martinez from Volcano Bay and now it's time to pay the price.